Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video, we will see how to create web to lead in Salesforce. So basically what is web to lead in Salesforce? In Salesforce, the web to lead feature allows us to collect a lead. That means leads are potential customers. Collect the leads data from our website. This feature allows us to create a web form so that the lead can fill out by visiting our website. And after that, when the customer fills the form, that information will be stored in the Salesforce org as a leads record. So let's see how the web to lead works. Here you can see, we can add the required fields to the web form. In those fields, the potential customer can fill the details such as their name, email and phone number. The web form we will create using a HTML template. In the HTML tags, we will use the leads fields. Then when the leads, that means the potential customer, submit that web form, their information is saved in the lead object in the org. And Salesforce sends an auto response email to that customers regarding the same. Here, when the customer submits their leads record from the web, at that time, as a response email, Salesforce send an email to that customers. Then after the creating lead records, our sales team can see those records and manage them, response them and try to turn them into the customers. That means when the leads record is created, our sales team turns them into the customers. That means from potential customers to the customers. Let's jump to the org so that we can see how to enable web to lead and generate HTML form so that we can run into the browser. So this is Salesforce homepage. To create a lead, here you can see quick find box, search for a web to lead. Here you can see under the marketing settings, you will see the web to lead. Click on it. And here you will see web to lead settings, web to lead enabled. This checkbox is not checked. So we need to check that checkbox. For that, click on edit and then enable your organization to receive online records for that we need to check this web to lead enabled for that i'm clicking on it and then here you will see the customer who will be listed as a creator when lead is a created online that means whenever lead will create from a web that time who will the default creator or owner for that here you can see lookup icon click on it and then here you can search your users so that you can assign that user to the lead which will create from a web and then here you can see default response templates that means whenever lead is created we need to send and response email to that lead so that they can confirm the lead is created or not or our form is submitted or not for that click on lookup icon so that here you will see the all the created templates i have already created a thank you email so that this thank you email will be sent by salesforce to that particular lead before that i will show you uh, that email template i am opening in another tab email templates click on it here you can create new email template so here you can see thank you lead as I open this you can see so this text template will be sent by the Salesforce to the lead so coming to the web to lead here I am selecting thank you email template I have selected the email template then click on save button now you can see the web to lead is enabled then lead creator and the default response template. Now we will create a HTML file so that HTML file we will run on the browser. To create a HTML file here you can see create a web to lead form click on it and then here in a create web to lead form you need to select the which field you want to display on that form. So you can select field from available fields and then here you can see the selected fields. By default, you will see in the selected fields, first name, last name, email, company, city and state. 
now you can also deselect which fields you don't want in the selected fields or which fields you don't want to display on the lead form for that you can select that field and then here you can see remove option click on it here i am removing fields which i don't want and select fields that you want to display on the form so here i am selecting description then add it lead source and then rating now you can also rearrange the selected fields so i want to lead source above the description so select that field and click on the up button so here you can see now lead source is above the description after that here you can see return url that means after creating that form or after submitting the lead from by the user or potential customer on which web page or on which website that page should be redirected here i am entering google.com and then we don't want to recaptcha so click on include button it will be removed and then click on a generate button now here you can see the email template or email text has generated so here what you need you need to copy all the text and then click on finish button so we have copied all the html text and then this text you need to paste on notepad or vs code i am opening the notepad and then i am pasting over here now we need to save this text file with html extension for that i am saving this file as a web to lead form and you need to save with html extension then click on save button now we need to open this saved file for that go to the location where you have saved this file here you can see web to lead form open this file in the browser or you can uh, you can double click so it will open in uh, the default browser i am opening this file then here you can see the field which we have selected from available fields that fields are displayed over here so now i am going to create one record so i am entering first name alex last name armstrong so here i am entering my own email so that i can show you the received email select a lead source so here i am selecting web and then in the description testing the web to lead form then select the range and then click on the submit button so after clicking on a submit button it redirected to the google website so we will see on the lead object the record has created or not for that click on app launcher search for leads click on it and then in a list view here you can see today's leads click on it and then you will see the record which we created from a web form it's created in the leads object as i open this record click on the details and now you will see name alex armstrong then email lead status then description testing the web to lead form and the lead source so this is how we can create the leads from the web form now let's check the email has sent by the sales force to the leads email address for that here you can see activity click on activity tab as you scroll down here you can see today thank you for registering email has sent by the sales force to the to the lead address as you click on it here you can see email subject then name then the lead name and then in the body you can see 
the text in the email template which we have created is displayed over here so this is how we can enable the web to lead and create a html text so that we can create a lead from web page also now i hope you have got an idea about web to lead how it works and how to create web page for creating a lead if you like the video click the like button subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get regular updates thank you Bye.